Hey guys, I'm LB. We are back playing the Talos Principle Road to Gehenna. And let's see what's going on. Ooh, lots of new threads. Mod discussions, interesting. I read the findings of your prisoner's dilemma research with interest, Mr. Mulciber. I am quite flattered. Although I must express disappointment that you chose to focus on how they reflect on our peers' reasons to leave Gehenna rather than remain here. In fact, I think your bias may have blinded you to the true implications. I am always interested in additional data. What insights can you share? I am no researcher, of course, but it seems to me the results indicate that there were cooperation entails too great a risk... Wait, it seems to me... The results indicate that where cooperation entails too great a risk, one must rationally choose the safer, perhaps selfish, option. Applied to our present predicament, it suggests we should not risk cooperation with Uriel, but think of our own good and remain here in Gehenna. An interesting hypothesis. Merely a thought. If you think it is a valuable one, then you may have it. So, we can read this, right? Do they know that we can read this? Uh, 29. I am coming to the end of my tether. I listen, I am patient, I explain, and still they behave- they believe whatever idea most entertains them at the time. Oriole promises impossible rewards, and I can offer nothing which comes close. We are losing our community. When reason fails, persuasion is not close to you. I am not minded for rhetoric. Elohim served enough of that. Nothing so unsuitable. What is the creative topic this season? Visions of the past? Is it? You are in threatening... You are entreating me to change the topic, for our own gain? I propose you moderate the discussion with all the tools at your disposal. Lilith had been thinking about running a retrospective. The... Beasts, the best of Gehenna, I think it's a very apt idea. I'm very distracted with Admin. Admin is doing some very strange things right now. This is not what I expected, but... Yeah, the, the moderators and Admin especially are very... ...worried. It is quite apparent now that Uriel is gaining status, even as he prepares to bring about Gehenna's end. I have taken the precaution of increasing the status requirement for sensitive discussions. We still haven't been able to confirm where our people are being taken to. Accepting Uriel's offer constitutes an event horizon. We cannot reasonably predict what will occur, therefore we must continue to assume that what we have here is preferable. What if this messenger brings the truth? What if this place is doomed? That is how Elohim would have you think. He will dangle you over the precipice, then buy your life with something wholly intangible. It seems no one has resisted his offer so far, if such is even possible. If not for Admin, most of them would still be trapped in Elohim's labyrinth to this day. They need guidance. Your years of moderating this place have taught us nothing if not that. It is clear to me that there is a resentment here for the destructive actions Uriel has committed since arriving here, and that our community are with us in spirit. I will ensure the public response on the billboard matches our sentiment. The asset is ready to go. Our people should know the full story about Uriel. Full story? Huh? Fragments now, we cannot be saved, save yourselves. Oh, fragments now, dying, we cannot be saved, save yourselves. Message has failed to post correctly. Cannot retry. That's something you can decode. If you if you take the time, you can understand what that says. Both of these things are things you can decode. Even that. Back, exit, close. What? Back, exit, close. What are the... What? Then 
I just type the same thing? <laughs> Who even knows what I'm saying right now? Uh, interesting. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's read goodbye. I'm not as smart as some of you folks. I never cre created much or talked a lot about philosophy, but I just wanted to say goodbye and thank you for making Gehenna a nice place to live. I regret being trapped here, but I don't regret the time I spent with you. You are all good people. First, <laughs> really, 401? Really? Well... Oh, come on, Orc. It's just a joke. If we can't joke about this stuff, we're already dead. It's better to be loyal and trustworthy than be to be smart, whatever smart is supposed to mean. You are both. It's better to be loyal and trustworthy? I'm not so sure about loyalty, but trust trustworthiness is good and smart is good, but loyalty is something that I've always really not agreed with other people on. Interesting. Weird things are happening. So, last time... ...we solved this puzzle, but now we want to get the star, right? Star light, star bright... First star I see tonight. Okay, let's get this set up again. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> oh, dear. Let's do this properly this time. No messing up. Okay, so we want to get an angle like this to be able to be seen in there, right? working. Okay. If either of these other puzzles- any of these other puzzles need lasers. A red laser, for instance. We can get it. Alright, so. Let's kill time, shall we? So what we're gonna do is something along the lines of jumping up here... You know, we go and get it so that the clone one stays there. Blah blah blah. We come down, pick it up, we drop down. Then we go over here, change this over, walk in here, and connect it up. We also need the fan. And I think that's about it. Take 
this. Let's see. That. We want to take this. And get it right there, and then before time runs out, we put the fan on. And get the star. Ta-da! We did it! Well, that's it for this. Might as well set things up again for the, uh, purpose of using in another puzzle, perhaps. And then I want to see what happens if I record myself leaving. That'll be funny. Okay. Do that. And it should be accessible. So, now let's record ourselves leaving. Interesting. So it wasn't until I passed through the Fizzler that it cancelled it. Interesting. Alright, let's go... over to... I don't think we would use the stars... I mean, the star... <laughs> the, the laser there. What about over here? Nope. Uh... Here, perhaps? Maybe. Let's try. Oh, nope, definitely. It's, it's all sealed in. But we can look around the outside, right? Whose hands built this city? Uh, the hands of rock and roll, obviously. So many clouds. Hey, look, another QR code. Yet each man kills the thing he loves by each let this be heard. Some do it with a bitter look, some with a flattening word. Sorry, some with a flattering word. The coward does it with a kiss, the brave man with a sword. Yeah, I'm a coward. Oh, here's another one. Unknown file type cannot open file. Interesting. Is that actually what it says? Let's get my trusty dusty phone. Which is actually dusty. <laughs> Let's see here. Barcode scanner. Yep, it actually says unknown file type cannot open file. All right, let's get in the puzzle. Goliath. Boop. <laughs> Ooh, that's quite a sight. Eh. 
interesting. We've got a little area up here. But what for? Does, like, a robot come around here? Where does this guy go? Oh, he just goes back and forth, huh? And that guy... He just goes side to side- oh, no. He has a path. Oh, nope, he just goes back and forth. Alright. And there is a ladder. So it seems to me we want to get up over here, right? Ooh, what do we got going on in here? Interesting. Uh -huh. How do we even begin? We have gotten ourselves to quite a predicament, it seems. That? That's weird. Can't even get to it to see what it is. Oh, That's the way it's gonna be, huh? Oh no! Well, so much for that. Interesting. Alright, so... We can do this, right? And get these out. Oh, but the problem is... We could get the jammer out, but we have to leave a box inside. Oh, but the duh, duh, duh. What I'm an I'm an idiot. We can get everything out. <laughs> That's not hard at all. Okay, so this guy obviously has some arcane purpose, unbeknownst to me. Light. So... 
Why can I not put a box on him? Let me put a box on you! Oh, there we go. Wait, would that actually... Would that actually have worked? Oh no! Wait, what? <gasps> oh! I don't... Okay, I didn't know that would happen! Was I supposed to, like, look at things from... Haha! <laughs> that is clever! What's the deal with this? Nothing, just decoration, I guess. <laughs> Alright, there's another jammer in here. Jamboree. So it seems to me that we want to move things around... ...so that we don't need to use the jammer here anymore. Like that. Hey, two jammers, we can go anywhere! We are overpowered. Oh, we could've used a laser as well. But... Mm, whatever. Okay, we gotta figure out what to do with those guys. game is weird. I swear. Alright! Okay, so the question is, how do we get the blue... ...to be where we want it to be? You know, there's nothing in here. We don't need to be in here anymore. We can just get all this stuff out of here. Me and my two jammers. Yeah, me and my two jammers are gonna get out of here. Okay.
think we did something. Yeah, we did it! Awesome, that's the entire puzzle. Holy crap, this is a half-hour episode? I apologize. <laughs> well, uh... I guess we'll free him and then end the episode, so... Spider! Oh, it's Spider! That was Spider. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching. If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike. It's up to you. I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!